Richard, you want to ask a question? Um, yeah. Just, um, I'm a 60 year old, 60, 63, I'll be 63 in the next month, and I'm crying of what you just said. As a leader of my tribe back home, I, I can't stomach what, what's happened to you. It's not only happened to you, but it's happened to all of us. And that's, um, and by the way, I'm, I'm a Christian as well. So I've got to read out the Word of God. I need to say this, I need to show you what, I, what, what I'm worried about, what I'm crying about for my people, your people. I'm not only crying for my people, it's your people as well, our people. I need a I wish they started writing Bibles with big prints in, you know, this is, I, I, I need a um, microscope to read this. Anyway, okay, look, um, now, I, I, I wouldn't even to be, thank you. Okay. Jeremiah in the Bible was a prophet. He was what he called a weeping prophet. So this is why I'm weeping, because of this, as a, as a man of God and as a tribal leader. Um, this is um, Lamentations. Lamentations means crying. Lamentations chapter 5, the whole chapter actually. And it's only a small chapter, so I'll be very quick. This is Jeremiah crying out to the Lord. And this is my cry right now for you, our people. Remember, the, remember, Lord, what has happened to us. And this is my prayer right now to God. Look and see our disgrace. The man just said, he just told her our disgrace. Our inheritance has been turned over to uh, strangers and homes to foreigners. We have become fatherless. Our mothers are widows. We must, we must buy the water we drink. I got a bottle of it. I need to buy my water own water here in this country. Our wood can only be had at a price. The same thing. Those who pursue us are at our heels. They at our heels because of who we are. The rightful owners of this country. We are weary. Let me go. Um, these who pursue us are at our heels. We are re weary and find no rest. How many of you elders go to sleep at night <coughs> thinking about your people? We, we submit to um, Egypt and Assyria to get enough bread. What they're referring to here is this, this is Egypt. The thing up at the hill there is Egypt. Our ancestors sit, and this is where you have to understand the reason why these white people are here today. is because our ancestors have sinned and are no more. And you and I bear the punishment for, this, for their sins. Slaves rule over us and there is none, no one, to free us from the hands, from, from their hands. We get our bread at the risk of our lives because of the sword in the, in the desert. Our skin is hot as, as an oven, feverish from hunger. How many of you can, people can relate to that? Women have been violated in Zion and virgins in the, in the towns of Judah. Princes have been hung up by their Hands and elders are shown no respect. Showed you any respect in your community? Nothing. How many more communities are they going to do that to? They did it in the Northern Territory. Young men toil at the millstone. 
boys stagger under loads of wood. The elders are gone from their uh, from the city gates. How many of our elders are sitting around talking or sitting around the campfire talking? They're not there no more. I'm, I'm me. I'm I'm the eldest male in my tribe. All all my mob have gone. Finished. Joy is gone from the hearts, from the, from our hearts. Our dancing has turned to mourning. How many of our people dance all the time now? It's so gone. Finished. The crown has fallen from our head. Woe to us, for we have sinned because of this. Because of this, our hearts are faint. Because of these things, our eyes grow dim. For Mount Zion, which lies de desolated with jackals crawling over it. Mount Zion, is, this is Mount Zion for us. This country here is our Mount Zion. It lies desecrated, des de desolated with jackals prowling around. Jackals up the hill there. You, Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures from generation to generation. Why do you always forget us? I'm asking this question to you, brother. Why do you always forget us? Why do you forsake us so long? Restore to us yourself, Lord, that we may return. Renew our days as of old. Unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. People, this country here, I have to, I've got to tell you this. God has been in this country before the white man came here. This is the written word of God. God's Jogodva, God's word has been here before this came into being here to this place here. Because you go in the desert there, they will tell you that God looked after us in the desert there. So if the missionaries come along and said to you, we bring the word of God to you, that's, that's a lie from, it's, it's from the pit of hell. That's a lie. They didn't bring the word to us. It was here all the time. God brought it to us, gave it to us. So I just, um, just, just want to close with that and, and say, and, and thank you for listening to this bit, because it's very relevant to us today. Thank you. What I got from that particular um, statement is the fact that when they say that um, um, we have committed sin, the sin is that we fail to stand and fight. We are sinning ourselves. We're the ones who are letting ourselves down. And we are reaping the rewards, and that's through punishment. And until we stand up and fight back, then no one's going to help us. No one's going to help us. And unless we do stand up, then we will reap the hell of the fire and brimstone from these people. Yeah. And so we know we're all putting our lives on the line. Yeah? And I can tell you how difficult it is and how hard it is to be, fright to be a frightened black fellow because five times they tried to kill me already. Yeah? Five times. And um, after the third time, you begin to worry. Yeah? Um, but I'm still standing. So somewhere along the line, I, I have a protector. Yeah. And <clears throat> my family say to me, it's time to settle down. But that's not going to be happen. That's not going to happen at all. So our commitment is that we have a responsibility to future generations. And if we don't, they're going to suffer a fate worse than what we are right now. So let's leave it at that. Have a think about it. And then tomorrow, we've got work to do. Thank you very much, people.